Hello YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to debunk a few things that Flat Earthers say about this video. Uh, Flat Earthers seem to believe that videos like this that show the Sun rotating above you for 360 degrees um, in the Arctic region uh, is impossible on a globe model. Uh, and some of them use, like the Morgyle and Mr. Thrive and Survive, they use animations like this one. I put this one an this animation together and they say, look, sometimes the camera's pointing right, sometimes the camera's pointing left. It's not panning around 360 degrees. So when you see a video like this, where the camera is p constantly panning to the right, that this means that the sun must be going around us, that there's no way we could rotate and have this happen. Um, but I want to show you how I made this animation. So I have this here that I've put together and for some reason it's just gone way off base here. Uh, let's put it back together. I'm going to put my little camera here in Greenland and point it at the sun uh, and I'm pulling this guide down so that I have it right going through the North Pole and aiming at the sun. So here's my target spot with the camera. So what I did in my animation was I took this, um, I, I decided to rotate the globe and see what the camera had to do. So here I'm rotating the globe. Now of course the camera has to rotate with the globe because the cameraman is sitting right on top. But the globe is rotating about the North Pole. So I'm going to put my point of rotation there and I'm going to rotate it a little bit to the left here counterclockwise and I actually used all these lines on here so that um, I took did a screenshot or I, I, I repeated the frame after every turn but notice as the globe turns counterclockwise or anti-clockwise depending on where you're viewing this from uh, the camera goes off the camera sight goes way over there in order to get that back we have to rotate the camera on its axis, and there's a little camera thing, we have to rotate it back the other direction, which is clockwise or to the right. We have to get that back so it's on there. And then I took another little shot of that, and I did it again. I took the globe and the camera, and I rotated that in the direction around the globe center. And I'm going to go a little further this time. I did it in more steps when I was creating the animation. But if we rotate it that way, what does the camera person have to do in order to keep the sun in their sights? Well, the camera must go back on its own axis, rotating, whoops, rotating counterclockwise or, or sorry, clockwise or to the right. And I did this all the way around. This doesn't change. It doesn't matter where you are, when the globe rotates counterclockwise on its axis or anticlockwise, in order for the cameraman to keep the sun in its sights, in the sight of the camera, he has to rotate on his axis clockwise to get the sun back to where he wants to be. I'm just going to do this a couple more times so you get the point. So this is what's actually happening on the Earth. The globe rotates counterclockwise and the cameraman, in order to keep the sun in his sights, rotates on his axis clockwise. Here we go again, fixed to the globe, the cameraman goes around anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get the pivot point on the camera. This, Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's the whole thing again, just the camera. And now it's off the screen, so if I want to rotate it back. There's my pivot point. In order to get the sun back into sights, 
I have to go the other direction. And that's going to be the same way. And this this actually shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, um, especially anybody that grew up with one of those merry-go-rounds on the playground, where if you had to stand on it and talk to your friend who was not on the merry-go-round, they had to rotate or you had to rotate your entire body, not just your head, but your entire body around the opposite direction that the merry-go-round was going um, in order to make sure that you could still see the person in front of you. Um, and that's about as simple as it gets. Thank you.